Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Clash of Clans. I want to show you guys a little bit of what I've been farming around Crystal 2 and Crystal 3. Really, I think Crystal 2 is where it was at. Thank you for the Giants, Chewbacca. And so let's jump into the replay. And while we watch, I want to talk about some more of the announcements Supercell's been making about their banning of uh, third-party software users, hackers, modders, that kind of thing. Those who really are manipulating the system in their favor in Clash of Clans. They have announced today that they have introduced a mass ban. If your account has been detected to be using third-party software, like I said, this is manipulating resources, it's manipulating uh, matchmaking or manipulating battle mechanics. Whatever you're doing that's giving you an unfair advantage, if you're a user who's using third-party software, uh, your account, they're uh, claiming that if you've been detected, uh, your account has been banned for two weeks. And so, of course, we're not banned because we don't use any third-party software. So we're here, you know, still enjoying farming. Kind of wondering if we're going to see some more inactive bases start to show up because of this two-week ban. Which would be kind of funny, in, in all honesty. But hey, if anybody has been using third-party software, they're saying, hey, we've introduced this two-week ban. And now what this two-week ban represents is a grace period where if at the end of this two-week ban, you've cleaned up your account, you've deleted and removed all of that third-party software from your device then you can you know, be reintroduced into Clash of Clans. But if at the end of this two week ban, your account is still being uh, flagged and detected as having a third party software associated with it, then your ban will become permanent. And this is intense. This is a non-negotiable permanent ban. Now, of course, there are gonna be the rare cases where maybe somebody's account is being flagged by mistake, but Supercell is claiming that's gonna be very uncommon. If you've been flagged, it's pretty sure that your account is using third-party software and if you don't get it off your device during this two-week grace period you're going to be permanently banned so uh, wow that's a big deal that's a big commitment they're really stepping it up man we've got some good loot coming in we've got to get this elixir off of this side and from this collector over here toward the top so yeah I like I said I mean it's a big deal it seems like this is it we've taken the first step the real banning is underway this is just that two week grace period and we'll have to be watching the forums and watching uh, you know, some of the channels we keep track of to see what, uh, what people start to report. Hey, I don't know how many people have really been banned. I don't know if this was like a huge number of people or if this was like a percentage of the people who are modding or, or what this represents, but it is a big deal because it's two weeks and then if you can't get cleaned up by then, it's, there's gonna be a permanent ban. Uh, so that's interesting. That's interesting. I, that's this is. I mean, the timeline. I guess it's two or three weeks after they made their initial announcement, and uh, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, that sounds really intense. Supercell is not messing around. So, as you can see, we've still got an elixir collector over there with a lot of elixir left in it. I want to get over there, but it doesn't look like anybody's left to go target that. We're out of time. We still walk away with a huge number. So let's jump back to another replay, real quickly. Where was that one at 400 let's go jump into this one so this is the kind of stuff i would be nexting and nexting and searching and searching and then after maybe about 10 or 12 minutes something like this will show up where the collectors are just loaded now i i see loot in storages as i'm nexting uh, but that is just getting harder and harder to get to without my heroes i'm really been kind of scratching my head about what i'm gonna do uh, in the meantime, without my heroes, I'm really depending on these bases for my loot. And uh, and that's really all I have to say. I mean, it's collector raids are what I'm relying on while my heroes are upgrading. But I'm seeing it at Crystal 2. I've fallen, though. I keep taking trophy losses this way, of course. It's hard to be racking up the stars when you don't have your heroes to help kind of boost your uh, effort. But, uh, but the loot is here. So I need to do a little bit of trophy pushing to get myself back up into mid-crystal 2. I've fallen down to crystal 3. If I can push my way back up and maybe pick off some Town Hall 8s, that kind of thing, then I should be seeing more bases like this. Let's go ahead and uh, boost it up a little bit. I'm trying to avoid that king. The king and queen are really bugging me. I've got some more collectors I can get up here. I'm going to drop those giants just to make sure I can jump in and get the rest of that elixir. And then, of course, I'm going to look over here. Oh, got that elixir collector. Going to start to uh, make my way across the side. Here comes another giant. Man, the uh, heroes are still doing pretty strong up there. 
the goblins are really going to help me uh, target those specific collectors I want to get. And that's really what I've got to rely on down here. With anybody that's left, drop the giant to get the distraction going on. Get the archers there. Keep, you know, targeting the queen. But the goblins will get in there and target that, that uh, sorry, uh, gold collector. And they almost got it. But look, there's one down here in the deep. And I want to try to reach in here and get it. Can I get it? Got the giants doing some distracting. Mass amount of troops. Dropping the heal spell. Just to keep the archers alive long enough to get in there. If I can get that Dark Elixir Collector, it will be awesome. Oh, we ran out of time. That's right. So we don't walk away with quite as much Dark Elixir as I wanted. But still, I mean, you can't complain about those numbers. So working out pretty good. All right, everybody. You've got to let me know what you think. Let me know what you see. Are, are you hearing more about this whole mass ban? Are, you gonna, are we going to start seeing clan wards really get cleaned up? Uh, what's going to be the community's response to this mass ban? And... Uh, where are you guys finding the loot? Of course, here I am in Crystal 3, Crystal 2, uh, making, trying to make the loot look big. Uh, but again, there's some search times involved in that. So you guys let me know what you've been finding. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.